Okay. All right, so let's put on a face. Going to lunch with my husband. After we do a couple of work things, work errands, I'm gonna go to lunch with my husband. Okay, I'm wearing pink because I've been doing like a pink capsule for the month of February. I don't know, I tried this uh, last year and maybe the year before and I really liked it. So I thought it was kind of fun. So I'm doing it again this year. So I've gotten all my makeup, like my pink, here's my face makeup, like my foundation and my contour. But then here's like blushes, pink and purple family or like mauve family. Same thing with the eyes so that I can just kind of pink it out this month. I don't know why, but it's kind of fun to do. So, all right, I'm just gonna cover up those broken capillaries real quick. All right, and then I'm going into my contour color. That's this right here. I like to do it first, and I'm gonna put it up here. Hey, good morning, Shannon. If y'all don't know Shannon, she is the sweetest, funnest, prettiest friend. Love her. All right, and I am trying to give myself some cheekbones. Okay, so I was going to tell you about... Why is that dog in here? I'm going to tell you about... Well... I know my farm girl paints cuff. Well, hey, slump my baby girl. That's my daughter. Girl. Okay, I'm gonna real quick just do a little bit on my jawline. Okay, so then I'm gonna go in. Well, why do I have two dogs in here? I guess they hear me talking. I'm gonna go in with my main foundation color. And I'm just trying to cover up, I've got a, my redness is not too bad today, thank goodness. And I'm just trying to cover a little bit of that up to just kind of cut that red. And then I'm gonna blend it into that contour that I did on my forehead. Then I'm going into my highlight, my lighter secondary of highlight and I'm going to put it under that contour. Okay, so let's talk about my February health goals and going dairy free and how it's been going. I realize only today's only day three, but you know, the first few days sometimes can be the hardest until you get into the habit of doing something, you know, like until you really get committed. So let's talk about that. All right. It has not been bad um, at all. It really hasn't. Um, I switched from heavy cream in my coffee. Y'all know I am keto. And if you don't, you do now. <laughs> but I switched from heavy cream to, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, Califia Farms. Califia, Califia, I don't know, whatever. Okay, that's the name of it. And I'm doing their toasted coconut unsweetened almond milk. Oh, that's a, that's a mouthful, but it is good. And I've added that to my coffee. I'm not a black coffee drinker. I can't, it's too, I can't. So, but, but I've added that. And then, so that's helping with the, Um, that is helping with the, I'm not missing my creamer, really. And then, let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, we did have, um, chili the other night, and I love, like, to put sour cream and cheese and, you know, butter in my bowl of chili, and I did not have that, but it was okay. I mean, like, you know, that's a small sacrifice. I will say this, just in the two days since I've gone dairy-free, I feel like my face is not quite as puffy. I feel like my gut area is not as puffy. So, you know, we'll see. I mean, 
I really am doing this to kind of break through that stall that I've been in for like a year on the scale. But I also know that I'm getting more, like I felt like I was just being more bloated a lot of the times and I'm not eating any differently. So I think the dairy might be the culprit there. Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna do this ruby because it kind of goes with my sweater, my pink sweater. Oh, Sloan, you think the dogs are lonely? Uh, no, we are right here with them all the time. They're not lonely, those crazy dogs. They're just looking at me because I'm talking. They may want outside here in a minute. Maybe that's their problem. I don't know. It's supposed to be out of the 40s today, barely. But we'll see. All right. Oh, these colors are so pigmented. I almost got a little bit too much on that side. I may have to, I may have to go in and kind of blend that out a little bit more, huh? Ooh. Girl, are you not at work? My daughter. Thanks, Shannon. I really love this color. But I might have gotten just a hair too much on my brush. That's okay. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this brush, the blush bronzer. <laughs> bronzer blush brush i don't know something like that and just kind of buff and you'll see it just blends it and smooths it out a little bit more so it's not quite as intense there we go okay let's take this contour color and line my lips i cannot talk and do this at the same time i'm not that skilled I am not that skilled. And I'm sorry I'm looking kind of off to the side. That's where my mirror is. For some reason, it's hard for me to see. In my phone. Okay. Close enough. Yeah, whatever. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit of eyebrow. And I'm just using that same contour color. I like to use that in my eyebrows because I feel like that way, I mean, it just kind of pulls it all together so it doesn't create a different um, shade or hue. Does that make sense? So, if you do not know about this One Compact Makeup, be sure to let me know, drop me a comment, or go to the link in my bio and get a complimentary color match. There is no pressure. I can promise you I'm not going to bug you to death, but it's a complimentary color match, and you can try it out. As a matter of fact, it's 30 days. You can get your money back if you're not happy, and if the color's wrong, if I mess up and get your foundation color wrong, then you've got 60 days to swap that out, get a different color, you know, so, I'm just saying. And it's it's all one compact. I mean, everything for the whole month, like my whole face. And that's like a ton of eyeshadows that are in there. Plus, I've got my two illuminators. I've got five blushes and my contour, my redness cover-up, my two foundation colors. And this is like a brow wax. Um, you know, fill them up some more. Sloan? Oh, fluff them up more. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, that's what I'm going to do with this brow wax is I'm going to fluff it up a little bit more. I'm going to take this setting spray. I'm going to take hours, but you can use whatever setting spray you got, or you can just use water. And I'm going to put it in this brow wax. This is how you do it. I just wet my little spoolie a little bit like that. Rub it in there. And then brush them up. What's going to happen, this is clear, so it's not, and it's light. It's not going to add, like, weight to your eyebrow. It's going to, when you brush them up like this, like she's talking about fluff it up, they're going to, it's going to keep them in place. And the neat thing about it is it fits right in my palette, too. Like, it's just magnetic. So, it's not, you know, I don't have to try to have, sorry about that. I don't have to try to have, like, another palette or another place to keep all that so there you go 
All right, so let's do some eyeshadow. This is a color, um, it's actually called, it was in our advent calendar, it's called 34th Street, but here's what, here's the deal. They're going to bring all of these back at some point in 2021. I think the first ones are gonna be released like springtime, maybe, or, or close to summer. And eventually they're gonna bring all 25 of those advent calendar shadows back. And they were so pretty. Now they are, oh, my brows are on point. Thank you, honey. Um, but they were so pretty. And there was only, out of the 25 that were exclusive, we only, there were only, I'm gonna say two, maybe three, that I just was not like taken with, you know? So that's pretty good. Um, anyway, they're gonna bring them all back, but they're gonna rename them because some of the names were not, you mean, you know, they were Christmassy names, right? And then this, I'm gonna put, ooh, okay, okay. I see you. Now this color is called Miha, okay? And this is one of our colors. I'll show it to you, Miha. This color right here, the proceeds from the sale of this color go toward our philanthropy foundation, which is called Love Is Never Wasted, and it helps, um, it pr raises money for foster families and foster children in the United States. So, good cause. But this one and the one called Stay Golden, and I don't have it in my palette right now, but I have this Mi Iha in there. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm going out to lunch with the hubs. I need a little glow up, don't I? Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, here's another one that is from that Christmas collection. It's called Eve. And it's it's a real pretty, like, um, I don't know. It has some shimmer in it. So let's see. Let's see if I like it on the corner. If not, I can always cover it up with something else. <laughs> It's more of a wine kind of color. Oh, there we go. That's what I need. I needed a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna go in over and, and I'm gonna pull that down underneath as well. All right. Okay. And put that a little bit in the crease, kind of come up. I have that hooded eye. I gotta get it up a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Okay. It's like Christmas Eve because these were all Advent, um, all Advent colors. They came in that Advent calendar that was like a limited edition. So it's Christmas Eve, not Eve as in the garden. And then here's another one. Why not, right? This one's Mary, M-E-R-R-Y, like Merry Christmas. And it's like a shimmer, so let's put it, I'm just gonna use my finger, okay? And let's put it right here, and then I'll blend it out. So first, I'm just gonna put it right there with my finger. <coughs> and my big finger got all down underneath too, but hey, we'll just work with it. All right, and then I'm gonna take this and blend it out, this brush, and blend. Oh, that's pretty too. I like it. I like it. I'm actually going to take a little bit of that on this same brush. And I'm just going to hit. And now I only hit in one little spot right at the very top of my eyebrow. Like where my eyebrow would, you know, the arch. Because it, to me it gives like a little mini eye lift without the surgery, right? But... I only put it in that one spot. And a lot of people go the whole way. I just like it in one little area. So when I turn my head a little bit, you can see the light bounces off of it. All right, then I think I'm gonna use, let's see. Whoop, my husband got a cough. I'm gonna use this one right here to highlight today. So let's see what color that is. I think that's glamazing, but I don't wanna tell you wrong. Oh, I was wrong, it's Photoshop. I'm glad I looked. All right, so I'm gonna put just a dab. Look, our powder illuminators, they are like, 
Oh, you do the brow lift too. Okay. See, that's a little trick. We have to, we have to do these things sometimes. Trick the eye. Trick the eye. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to look good going out to lunch. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to have to go somewhere besides Wingstop. <laughs> okay, just a little bit right there. Okay, very good. All right, so let's put on some eyeliner. And the eyeliner I've been loving recently is, I actually need to sharpen this. Okay, it is by Revlon, and it is called uh, Fier So Fierce. It's a vinyl eyeliner is what they're calling it. And this, let me see what color this is. The dog is crying because he closed the bathroom door. Crazy dog. Okay. This color is called, oh, hold on, Mighty Mocha. And this is what it looks like. And I'll show you. I'll see if I can, I don't know if you can even read that. Let's see if I can make it. I don't know. I'm not good at this whole. Anyway, it's by Revlon. All right. And I just do my under, because I feel like it helps my eyelashes look thicker at the base. And I just very lightly roll that underneath there, okay? And I wear contact so it doesn't irritate my eyes or anything like that. And then I don't do, like, thick eyeliner most of the time. I mean, if I'm, like, trying to full glam up or something, I would. But what I do is I just put a little bit right in the base of my last lashes almost like it's not an eyeliner if that makes sense like i don't do a whole stark line thick line i feel like it makes my eyelashes look a little fuller without looking like necessarily eyeliner does that make sense all right and i don't line the bottom usually at all because i put that color underneath there okay but i like the brown the brown's kind of my, been my thing lately. They do have it in, like, other colors. They've got a black. They've got a gray. I want to say there's one other. I've got the black and the gray, but the brown has really kind of been my favorite recently. All right, so then this Maybelline The Falsies Push-Up Angel has been my go-to mascara recently. So let's put some of that on. Okay. I feel like this little wand is good for these little bottom lashes. Yeah. And then I go right in at the root and wiggly wiggle and then just kind of pull it. I am going to put a second coat on the top of a different mascara to give them a little more fullness, but this just helps kind of separate those lashes. Yeah, a wiggly wiggle. Right at the base, I wiggly wiggle and then pull up. Like that. All right, and then the one I'm going to do, I think, for fullness is Still by Maybelline the falsies but it's called lash lift and it's got a fuller brush i'll show you what i'm talking about see then that other little skinny thing and i just do it on the top and i do more wiggle on the ends of my lashes rather than at the base if that makes sense and it may or may not do anything but hey i feel like it does so i'm doing it <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's talk about lips. All right, so I want something kind of fun. So this or, no, that's too whiny looking. Like, you know, like I'm saying, wine color. But what about this one? Okay, here we go. Let's try this. 
This is, oh, thank you. Um, Shannon, thank you. Super, all right, Mab another Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon. Okay, I also will tell y'all why I'm experimenting with brighter lip colors. Ooh, is because when I go, as I transition my hair, I'm going to need to draw, like to put more color in, right? Because my hair won't be colored. I'm going to transition, and so I need that color on my face. Okay. Ta-da! What y'all think? Now, let me show you the earrings I'm going to wear. This is the same ones that I wore actually last night, but they're so super good. 1110 leathers. These are the cork ones. They're super light. And I like this shape. I think it's called the Pippa. I think that's the right shape. It's called the Pippa. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Oh, and then I did a Victoria Emerson wrap bracelet over here to stack with my watch. Okay. That's it. Uh, perfect. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. All right. Thanks for joining me. And if you want that color match, let me know. Give me a comment. Let me know what you think about this look. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet.